Is it possible for someone like me with no experience in electronics to create a new type of sci-fi weapon? And how far can we take this? In this video I will show you my journey since my first high voltage electronic circuit one year ago to my current 3D printed plasma blade. This is the most expensive personal project I have ever worked on. I had to buy countless high voltage circuit parts, many tools and even a 3D printer. You're gonna want to watch until the end to see me test my current plasma blade throughout the video. And you're gonna want to see the new upcoming version that I'm working on. I have always been fascinated by science, but all the magical things you can do with it always felt kind of distant from me. However, one day I came across this video by Jamie Sprague Jams in which he built a Tesla coil from Lego and these high voltage up. multipliers, which was a spark that led me to build the plasma blade. And stick it all together. And finally connect these two wires. These two are going to be important later. I also have to give credit to Alan Pan and no, no, the Plasma no, Channel. What that means is that in this case, it's not actually that hot, but it will still electrocute the mother loving fudge. Oh! <laughs> God damn it, it works. God, it's just the most gorgeous display of plasma I've ever seen. It's like a plasma force field, and the still frames are on a whole new level. There is one problem though. Their designs are complicated for an electronics noob like me, and I wanted to make something more simple that looked cool. So I started buying the components to make the high voltage circuit and started testing to see what I could make. So I built my first portable taser and started electrocuting random things to see how the plasma behaves. Then I realized that when you space the cables at a certain distance, it creates a purple plasma called Corona Discharge. And when you channel this through a saw blade, it creates the effect I was looking for. So now I had to fit this whole circuit in the palm of my hand and make it look aesthetically pleasing. I built the first handheld prototype with the scraps found from my architecture model materials I had lying around. And I combined them with some pieces of wood taped together to make this suspicious looking device in my college dorm. Now that I understood the mechanism, I bought a 3D printer and learned how to use it so I could print the handle. And as you can see, I designed countless prototypes digitally. This is the footage of my first 3D print ever, which is the handle I never used because it ran out of filament and it wasn't able to finish. And this was my second 3D print attempt at making the handle. Third time is the charm and this was the first 3D printed prototype I was able to make work. And with every attempt I got better at making sure that every fraction of a millimeter throughout the whole handle was perfectly designed so that it would work out. And then I had finally done it after five months of designing and prototyping and so many errors. With no experience I created the first pre-printed plasma blade. And by what I mean by first in the world is that as far as I know this is the first one that uses the Corona Discharge method, which is like a cold plasma that doesn't burn things, it just electrocutes you. Which was cool, but then I realized it sucked, and I wanted to make it better. So I hopped back on Rhino, and also bought new saw blades, and started modeling. 
until I came up with this design that I really like. This design fit the sleek sci-fi aesthetic I was looking for. However, there were still really minor problems with the design of the handle, so I continued 3D modeling and upgrading every single part of it to make sure it was perfect. The 45 degree angles on this design are actually functional because it gets rid of the need for support material when printing, so making this produces zero waste. And now it's finally time for the final assembly montage. When these blades are covered in plasma, it generates ozone gas which kills all bacteria and viruses around it. One morning, I woke up to this big wasp inside my room, so the plasma blade was the quickest and easiest way to deal with it. The plasma also generates ionic wind, which you can see by the way it blows out the candle. Another cool effect of these high voltage long blades is that it will interfere with radio signal. Now imagine this, but three times bigger and way more powerful using LiPo batteries. If this video gets 10,000 likes and you subscribe, I will make it. So please do it and comment and share so more people can see this and we reach the goal. Thank you for watching.